Welcome back. It's uh, Automotive Mondays here at Sinclair Community College. My name is Justin Morgan, the chairperson of Automotive. If you guys haven't got a chance, go back and look at some of our previous videos on used car inspections, how to install a safety seat that Mr. Singleton's been a big part of and done a great job. Today we're going to talk about how to check your own engine oil. So it's something that maybe some of you have done in the past or something that you guys are scared to do out there. And the one thing I want to try to do is go through and, and give you the information that you need to check your own engine oil. The reason this is so important is today on vehicles we have oil life intervals and what we do is we use a monitor on the vehicle's computer to tell us when to change oil. The problem with that is on new cars is sometimes that oil life interval will go to six, seven thousand miles. And for those of you that are uninformed, our typical oil interval in the past has been three thousand miles. So what do we need to do is when we do those gas fill-ups at the local gas station is that's a good time to go ahead and pop your hood and check your own engine oil. So today we're going to go through that procedure. The one thing I always recommend as we do in all of our videos is consult your owner's manual. Um, if you're unsure and you don't want to do this then always go ahead and go to your local service repair facility. But it's a good idea at least once a month to go ahead and check your engine oil or at every gas fill up whatever you would like to feel comfortable with. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing that we want to do is locate the engine oil dipstick. Usually that's uh, noted by a yellow color or like an orange color on that dipstick to let you know. Another dipstick that you might find underneath the hood is the automatic transmission fluid dipstick on some vehicles, especially older vehicles. So if you're unsure, consult your owner's manual to make sure that you have the right one. So one thing you want to make sure is, is anytime you're checking the engine oil, the engine should always be in the off. It's a good idea in some cars that they need to sit for just a few minutes um, to let the oil settle to the bottom of the um, oil pan. So after you shut the vehicle off, go ahead and, and uh, get ready to pull that dipstick out. Before you proceed, you probably want to go ahead and get you a, a paper towel of some sort. And of course at the gas station, uh, they'd have a towel for you basically to go ahead and check that oil for you. So go ahead and grab one of those to get ready to do this. So we're going to go ahead and pull the dipstick out, just use one index finger. I'm going to go ahead and use my rag here and as I pull it out slowly, I'm going to wipe the excess of oil off the dipstick as we pull it straight up and out. Okay. So I don't need to look at it right now, I'm just going to clean off the dipstick place it back down into what we call the dipstick tube, push it down. I like to go ahead and push it down all the way, count to about 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. That allows the oil to get saturated on the dipstick. We're going to pull it back out and our fill level is going to be viewed down here. On our level here, there's going to be hash marks and indentations. There's a max level and usually a add level. Usually in that region is a safe region. On our vehicles that have those oil life intervals that are going 6,000 or more on an oil change, we are starting to consume oil. So although the oil may be fine, the issue is, is we are getting low on oil. And what's happening is on a lot of newer vehicles is we're having engine failures due to the fact that customers are not checking the oil. And so although the oil change says it does not need it, our oil level is actually low. Okay, so there are some things being done in, by the manufacturers to go ahead and kind of remedy that, that issue right now. You as a consumer or a customer, one of your jobs is to make sure that you're checking the oil regularly. So any of you that have had some expensive uh, engine repair bills due to oil consumption, this might have been something that you want to do on your next purchase is to go ahead and continually change oil every 3,000 miles. So as we take a look here, we're basically up about uh, right up here at the fill level, so we're good to go. If we wanted to double check, I always like to check it twice just to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off again, clean it off. I got a little drip right here on my mat. I'm going to put it back down in there. And if you can see right now, here's my full hash mark. Here's my add hash mark. Anything below that or no oil on the dipstick would be cause for concern for me. So you would always want to make sure it's at least viewable on the dipstick. Um, and spe specifically, it should be falling in the hash marks at any oil change. Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Grab it, and as you can see, it looks like it's actually filled up in this case. Although on one side it shows that it's a little bit filled, it's right here to the top marsh, and it looks like it's good. So a lot of vehicles today have oil life monitors. Most of those monitors do not actually go off of mileage. Some vehicles do, or some manufacturers do. But a lot of them actually go off of engine RPM, engine runtime, the amount of miles, and an logarithm basically that is done through engineering. Um, so there's no set miles. So as you can see on this vehicle, it's actually at 98% life left. So there will be a prompt that comes up in your instrument cluster that says that change oil soon or you know, you're at 20% oil life. On this vehicle, you can see that it's at 98%. The downside of this though is this vehicle could have been 6,000 miles since the last oil change and that's when we need to make sure that you're continually checking your engine oil because if the engine starts to run low on oil, that causes catastrophic engine repair and now that's costing the customer or the consumer a bunch of money. You're looking at maybe possibly an engine replacement at two or three thousand dollars. So as you can see from the odometer, this oil change is close to uh, the oil life, uh, the oil change interval 
Um, judging by the sticker, we're about 1,000 miles left or so. So that tells me that even though we have 98% oil life, we're about 1,000 miles away from our oil change. So I really like to rely on my oil change sticker from the repair facility rather than the oil life uh, monitor. I feel like that is a better uh, a better idea to keep you constantly checking and changing that oil regularly. Just a quick tip here today on Automotive Mondays, give you guys an idea of how to check your own oil, um, something that's easy, easily done and can keep you out of a costly repair bill in the future. So thanks again and thanks for watching.